exciting day. Daniel has a footballing net, so we're gonna spend the last week we have here on the beach every day. It's supposed to be super nice weather. It's I think 17 to 20 degrees or something like that. Anyways, we're gonna go to the beach, enjoy the sun, play some football, hang out, and uh, yeah, just enjoy the rest of the time we have here. So, uh, see you at the beach. Arriving at Golden Bay. Beautiful. Check it out. Beautiful. Clutch with the net, the pro net. We got the pro foot volleyball too. Exciting stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The life. The life of a footballer. So the football net set up. It's looking prime with the boys on the beach. Enjoying the sun. End of October. So lucky. You're just going to enjoy every moment of this. It's going to be amazing. Pelo concurso. Deus abençoe a rapaziada e faça deles um grande sucesso como eles merecem. Muito obrigado, Deus abençoe. how cold it is today. Oh, it's actually not that bad at all. What do you think? That's pretty good. It's a little rough here though. Man, this is nice. Look at that. The sun is just, woo! Beautiful. Look at that sunset. Day two of beach volley. It's like nine something in the morning. I'm tired. I was up late. Um, we're at the beach and uh, we're gonna be doing a circuit. They, they're doing. I'm kind of just lazing around right now. Is it starting? All right, it's starting. So I'm gonna get to it. They're the boys working hard. Let's go. Just finished up playing football at the beach. As you can see, my face is a little bit red, but it's gonna turn into a nice tan probably tomorrow. But also you can probably tell my face looks so dry. It's because of the salt content here at the Mediterranean Sea. It's like, I don't know what the percentage of salt is compared to the Pacific Ocean, but it's way higher. Like you notice it when you get out of the water, um, there's so much salt like dries up on you really quick and the water like evaporates in like 30 seconds. It's crazy, but uh, it makes for a good tan. I remember, I don't know what year it was. I think it was like 2013. I went to Spain, same thing, and I got so tan. So my mission here for the rest of the time that I'm in Malta is see how dark I can get. That's my goal. So we're gonna get that tan. Let's go. Check this moon out. Holy, the sun's still out. Like it's like 5.30. This, the moon's like mid sky. It's so clear though. You can't really see it on camera. It's a shame. It's beautiful though. So, uh, day three, foot volley. We don't have a big group today. It's just me, Dan, and Diego. We're gonna do some specific training. It was super hard for me to wake up this morning. First off, my sunburn is bad. It hurts. Even putting my shirt on my chest, I guess it hurts real bad. My legs, 
the same. And my face, holy, f it feels so dry. Like, um, no, like I put so much moisturizer on and like it's still messed up. It's still so dry and it hurts. Like just like crunching my face like this it really hurts. Anyway, I'm gonna get even more burnt because it's sunny. It's sunny, it's sunny as hell today. You can see the sun's out, it's clear. So I'm gonna get burnt again today. Okay, so we're doing the same circuit we did yesterday, but this time we have some cones instead of sticks. So yeah, I'm just gonna do it. All right, just like that. And then sprint out. Julia's gonna join us. It's gonna be rad. Set up the net. It's all ready to go. We're gonna get some training in. Excited. Let's do this. So the purpose is to get the ball up high to Daniel. Both feet going around the cones. Boom. It's good. It's fine. And we're working both on your right and left foot. It's key football. So uh, the best players in the world use both feet. This is a good way to train that. And now Daniel's turn. These guys have a lot of practice. This is just the basics. Not too hard, but you just gotta focus. Oh, race is killing you right now. Killed it. This is easily the hardest skill in football right here. The chest. Like, look at that. Getting it up like that. It's extremely hard. I'll show you how good we do compared to Daniel. He's been practicing this technique for like, I think, a year. Um, but it's difficult to get that pop on the ball. Crazy. Okay. Here's Diego giving it a shot. Not bad, not bad. Getting better. Oh, again, middle. Every section. Not bad. Not bad. Right when I come to your arms more, just go keep them here. Oh, 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 that was it right there by the way there we go he's got it as soon as it hits the middle of his chest he gets it every time you hit it every time you hit it right in the middle oh fuck you're dead uh, can you see it on the camera you oh think? yeah 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 just in contrast with everything else it's fucking tomato tomato boys and he's a tomato, he's a tomato, tomato. boy, tomato Turkey boy. Out here. anyways that was a lot of fun Wow, 
Ooh. I saw the technique timing here when they have yeah. sorry bro. Good ball. Good. Good. Wait, wait, wait. Good. See how it's under the ball, bro? Alright, fourth day of foot volley. Again, we're setting up the net. I think we have a bunch of guys coming. So maybe I'll get some footage, maybe not. But this is probably the last video in Malta before I go home. So we're gonna enjoy the sun again. It's even hotter than the last two days, so I might even have to keep this hoodie on all day, but we'll see. So the basics again. The chesting, heading, shoulders, both left and right foot. Um, what, what's, the, what's the plan today? Today yeah. In specific, then we play a little game, but not game, and then after play game. When you guys are ready, specific is always important. Don't play if you're new. This do specifics properly, technique, technique, and then play games at the end. Don't go to go play games. There's no point. No point. Get down to the little detail. Fucking off the ground here. We're in sand for a reason because we want to get out there, man. Eh? If you're getting out of here, you go to the field tomorrow and you're fun. So, wait, wait, you played in Wembley, yeah? In front of 80,000? Is that what you're saying? 86,000. Oh, yeah. Who played on two? No, what did that was in England. Last time when you played against England. Everyone is in, guys. Yeah. You made a hell of a game, like first time 0 0 some shit. Huh? That's crazy. Yeah, losing, but I had made a bunch of saves. Yeah, yeah. Who's the best player you're playing against? You play like as well, man. Well, not, yeah. Well, yeah, I remember that game. Was... Give me that knuckle ball, huh? He, he comes, he goes, bah! and the ball like this, right? <laughs> no, but when, when Wembley, like, I remember Joe Hart in halftime came up to me and he says, hey, we change our kids. No, he wow. don't actually, actually, no, I'm wrong. He said, you know, he said, hey, hockey. And it's like people in the water, they call me hockey. Yeah. And he said, he said, after the game, we change kids. Oh my god. That's actually crazy. So you have this, you have this kit? Do you have it hung up at home? Nice. Actually, it's being framed. It should have been ready tomorrow. Because I've moved house and I've like created an office for sports psychology and stuff. Um, so I've got like a bunch of kids. I've got Buffon, uh, Joe Hart, Oblak, Subasic. Holy! Legend. True legend. What, what national team? What national team? Change. Malta? 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 Cool. So the title of this video is going to be playing football with the King of Malta. <laughs> the King. The King of Malta, man. Absolute legend. Amazing person, first of all. That's, that's going to be, huh? be a good video, yo. Fuck yeah. <laughs> if you ever want to be, you know, the kind of reality of football, you know, like, 
be to get where he got, he always had that little sacrifice of sufferings, you know. To get where his football is not easy, you not know, just to walk in there. And he played against the best. He played in the top leagues. He made great games. You have your up and down, but you always you keep on going, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, this guy fingered him. This guy fingered him. That was disrespectful right there. He's apologizing. Hey, but we ended up winning that game after you did that. After you did that. That's crazy. Actually, I have a question for you, though, because we ask everyone. If you were to give kids one piece of advice, yeah. what would it be? Be humble. Be humble. Yeah. So not like this guy, eh? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Humility is the door to, to learning. Yeah? yeah? I appreciate it. It's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. 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 Look at how packed this beach is, people. No cops. It's a beautiful thing. Very good. Very good. Tá gravando, man. Manda na cima, manda na cima, manda na cima. Manda na cima. Tik tik tik. Ó, ó, ó. Ai ai ai. Huh? Yeah. Hey, go big, Watch your big, go 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 big, in Salvador, Bahia, Port Seguro, or Port, uh, one place. When the sunset goes, everybody goes to the beach and starts clapping for the great, great day you have. Everybody, the whole it's beach. It's beautiful. Not, Look at yeah. this. Not grateful, bro. Look at this. Like I was saying, sunrise to sunset. Great journey. Some awesome memories. Just a perfect, just perfect day. Thanks, Malta. We out of here. Peace.